to brighten yourself. Raptor, falcon, sparrowhawk, the American kestrel, call it what you will. This pint-sized yet ferocious aerial predator is notorious for taking out tree swallows or bluebirds in midair. Known for its gravity-defying hunting style called kiting, the kestrel can turn into headwinds and hover in place like some sort of feathered helicopter while waiting to dive bomb its unsuspecting prey. About the size of a morning dove, the American kestrel is also known as the smallest and most colorful falcon in North America. For unknown reasons, however, kestrel populations have been declining throughout North America. And in 2013, the American kestrel was listed as endangered in Delaware. 48. To understand more about kestrel populations, their distribution, and their decline, Delaware's Brandywine Zoo started a statewide kestrel monitoring and banding program in 2014. To collect kestrel data, the zoo has installed 79 nest boxes on both private and public lands across the state, ranging from parks to conservation tracts. 609, Jackie Williamson, the Brandywine Zoo's curator of education and conservation and a licensed bird bander, leads a team of zoo staff and volunteers to conduct the kestrel program. So I need to look at wings and, and tail for aging. In 2019, the team has been monitoring more than 70 kestrel boxes across all three counties in Delaware. The kestrel monitoring season begins with checking nest boxes in February, cleaning out debris, adding fresh pine shavings, and assessing any maintenance needs. Beginning in March, team members visit each nest box every seven to 10 days, taking 20 to 30 minutes to survey the area for kestrels before approaching the box. The team then uses a GoPro-style camera on a telescoping pole to check inside the nest box for evidence of a scrape. A scrape means that a kestrel is preparing the box for nesting by creating little kestrel-sized wells in the pine shavings to form a perfect bowl to keep the eggs from rolling around. Once a kestrel is sighted in the area, nest boxes are checked twice a week so team members can accurately capture the date of the first egg laid. Based on that date, the team can estimate a time to return and confirm clutch completion since kestrels typically lay one egg every day. Then it becomes a waiting game. 30 days after clutch completion, team members return to check for chicks hatching. When hatching is confirmed, chick banding windows are scheduled between 14 and 23 days of age. Once kestrels complete their clutch, usually five eggs, they will begin incubating. After a week or two of incubation, Williamson and the team can trap the adult in the nest box to band it. Using a net on a long pole with half the net covered with a plastic board, the entrance to the nest box is covered to secure the bird inside while raising a ladder. Then team members climb the ladder, carefully open the nest box, reach in, and pull the bird out. If the adult is too jumpy, risking injury to itself or the eggs, a mesh net is used over the nest box hole to catch the adult as it emerges. Chicks are easier to retrieve from the box as they are banded before they can fly. Using a ladder, a team member stuffs a cloth into the nest box opening. Then they open the box and carefully remove each chick, placing them into individual bags for safety and transport. Banding both adults and chicks involves the same procedure. First, the bird is weighed in its holding bag and its weight is recorded, minus the weight of the bag. Next, the team measures the bird's shin length, the talon on the back toe. Then beak length is measured, from the flesh of the kestrel's nose to the tip of its beak. Next is a wing measurement from the bird's wrist to the tip of its longest primary feather. And finally, tail feather length is measured. The team also checks for crop fullness, which tells how recently they've eaten and if there are any parasites. It kind of helps if you just kind of gently like right underneath the jawbone, just lift up a little bit. And then it's time for banding. After using a special measuring tool to determine band size, a band is crimped around the bird's leg and the band number is recorded. So this side towards the foot, make sure that the numbers are... If the bird is an adult, it can simply fly away. If it's a chick, 
the entire clutch is banded and put back in the nest box. Chicks will fledge from the nest between 28 and 32 days of age and continue to linger in the nest box area for several weeks after fledging. In the mid-Atlantic, American kestrels have experienced a decrease of more than 93% since the 1960s, the greatest decline in any region of North America. Although the cause remains unknown, researchers have varying theories about the coast-to-coast -coast decline of kestrels in North America. The main culprits are likely a combination of nesting habitat loss, invasive species, pesticide accumulation, climate change, or new diseases. The goal of the Brandywine Zoo's Kestrel Monitoring Program is to create a reliable picture of population trends that will advance kestrel demographics and influence conservation planning. Banding and feather sampling are just two ways of understanding where kestrels are going, whether they return to the same areas for nesting annually, and how the species dispersal may impact the long-term survival of these unique small raptors. The zoo's education department shares their data with the Delaware Kestrel Partnership, a research group of Delaware conservation organizations studying the causes of the kestrel's decline. Collecting and understanding this data may provide insight into the decline of these amazing sky hunters and ensure that our children and grandchildren will have the chance to see them in their natural habitat.